This video is brought to you by John Screen Service in Wellington, Florida. Our subject today is putting spline in just the major beams or on all places where the spline would be and I'll demonstrate that to you in this video. You're on the inside of a screen enclosure. Now each one of these sections uh, is a panel and all the panels can be strung together from front to back which is called sheeting or they can be each one of them uh, the spline put on all the tracks. These are the main beams to come from the house out to the outside of the screen enclosure and the small or the lesser beams, the smaller beams, are um, uh, also have spline tracks on them. Uh, this bigger beam is two inches wide and between six to ten inches you know, deep. And these smaller beams are called purlins and they are um, two by two, two inches wide and two inches deep. From the bottom of the screen enclosure, or inside of the screen enclosure that is, you can't tell if it's one long sheet here or if it's individual panels. So let's go to the, uh, this is another type of screen enclosure. You can't really see there either. From the inside of the screen enclosure, you can't tell. And of course, this has got so much bracing there, you couldn't tell anyway. This is a spline track. This is a purlin, but the this is a track here, and this is a, another track. So on both sides of this piece of metal, and they basically, the beams look like this on the top where you put the spline, and the purlins, or the smaller, they look basically the same. Right here, there's a little lip. This is a flat spline track. It is slightly more shallow than a round spline track. Round spline comes out much easier than flat spline does because it has this little lip here that kind of hooks it in there. This is what it looks like when the screen is in the track. See, there's this piece of spline there, and it's in here. You put the screen in the track and then push in the spline. And the spline is that ribbing-like stuff that keeps the screen in place so it doesn't um, fly out. Right here is flat spline, and the next picture here is round spline. And it looks, you know, one is round like spaghetti and the other one's more flat like linguine, but not as wide, obviously. See, in this picture, John is standing uh, or, or kneeling down on this bigger beam, this wider, although it's only two inches wide, and putting the spline, you see this is flat spline, and putting the spline in with a screen. So that's what they have. these guys have to do, is they have to balance in some way or other on top of these two inch things uh, in order to be able to put the screen in there, if, especially if you're replacing screen. If it's not replaced, if it's originally being built, all this stuff is built and set up. The builders are not up there trying to do this sort of thing. It's the rescreen, the guys who rescreen. In this picture, you'll see they've stretched a long piece of screen from from the house all the way over to the back here. Here's hanging off here. This is the way a lot of them do it at first. And this is the first part called sheeting. This sheets the whole top of that screen between, between the big beams. Sheets it all the way across with one piece of screen. And I'll show you here what it looks like when it's all done. You see, it's one piece of screen from here all the way back here. Now they're eventually, you know, they will eventually take and and put spline, attach it to every one of these, which is the smaller beams, the purlins. But a lot of guys do not do that. They leave it just like this. When a big wind comes, or say a tree branch or a ball or anything went through any one of these uh, sections here, when it's like this, called sheeting, sheeted, because it's one long sheet, then you're going to have to replace all of it. In this particular one, there's seven different sections that you're going to have to replace. If you only, if it was attached right here at all these purlins, these other smaller beams, then you'd only have to at 
a replace one. So it's much more expensive when you do it the sheeting. You see right here this same roof. This only applies to the roof of a screen enclosure. It does not apply to the sides because the sides are not ever sheeted. Everything is all beams and all the rails there's spine put in every single one of them. See here you can see right here there is spline because you can see that it's um, wider. That's how you can tell in this picture. So when this, if something happens to any one of these, all you have to do is replace one piece and not the whole thing from here all the way to the back. There's different techniques on how to actually do this. You can sheet the whole thing and then a term they use is called split the purlins. That means they split the screen across here and put it in the tracks because there's track on each side. Uh, there's two tracks on every one of these beams, you know, every these pieces of metal. You can see why this would cost you a lot more to be replaced. When the wind blows, it will ripple because there's such a long piece of screen. It just kind of ripples down the, down the way there. And you can tell sometimes by that that it's uh, uh, rippled. See from the inside of the screen enclosure, you can take one of your, um, like the pole for the uh, cleaning the pool to get stuff out of the pool. You can kind of try to lift up underneath, uh, right beside one of these uh, purlins or the smaller bars. And if it lifts up, then it's not attached. Otherwise, you there's no way you can um, tell unless you had it upstairs and were looking down on it, then you can tell. But uh, most people don't have it upstairs. So that is the, the problems. It should not cost you any more to have it done right, and we call it done right, is to put spline or attach in every, pla every place, in every beam, in, in the cross beams and the big beams. Uh, put spline in the track. And unless you tell the person who's doing your screen closure, there's 90% chance that they'll just what's called sheeting it. They'll sheet it. Well, that's it for now. And good luck on getting your screen enclosure, the top of it rescreened when you need to. And this has been brought to you by John Screen Service in Wellington, Florida. Thank you.